If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. So on the video I just released, right? Real wanted to come through and, and write, you know, the same statement I always hear, which is, you know, men bad, men bad, men this, men this, right? So I just broke it down very simply so that people can clearly understand what she's stating, right? Men want to be God. If your men are out of order, so are your women. Men love a certain type of women. Only fans is the thoughts, right? And there's men involved with this awful mess, right? So basically in that whole statement, you hear that she is stating that men are the cause. Men are the reason for every single thing that's going on and that women are not able to take action, responsibility, or acknowledge the role that they directly play in any of these things, right? When it comes into OnlyFans, when it comes into Instagram, no guy went out here and told these fields of women, hey, go out there and, and start an OnlyFans. Who, who point, point me to the men who said that, who, who stated that, who, who literally went up to gangs of women out here and be like, yeah, go out there and start OnlyFans. That's a good look. No, said no man ever. No man is not, men are just not walking out here in life telling women to go do this. Women are doing this because they understand that using the blessings, right, the, the value, right, that is automatically given to them since birth, that's what they're using in order to make profit. That's just smart business. But to try to blame men for that makes no sense. This is or these are business women conducting business. This is a business transaction where you have the women that understand their value and the men that understand these women's value. So everybody's getting what they want, right? The men are getting whatever they need to get off and the women are getting money from whatever they're doing for said men, which is their audience. Because I'll put it to you like this. If you 100% disagree with these women going out there doing this and you blame men, right? Then why not start up an initiative or a group to empower and enable women to use their bodies in a different way, such as working hard, labor intensive type of jobs, laying down concrete or gravel, climbing uh, telephone lines and electric poles, climbing cell phone towers, uh, going up scaffolding, right? Putting up siding on housing, doing roofing, laying down asphalt, doing masonry work, doing electrical work, doing uh, concrete. There, like I said, there's a lot of manual jobs that I can think of that I feel that would enhance somebody's character, that would allow them to be not only beneficial to society, but also to themselves. Because once they get through with those jobs or work it for a certain period of time, they can decide to go out there and start their own company, therefore lessening the amount of actual hard work that they have to put out. But that's not what you want to talk about. And that's not what you're here for. You're not here to, in a sense, empower women in that way or in any way at all. You're here to body block the ones that I clear cut show off here and I refer to and that I talk about. And in that same exact breath, you decide that you want to, oh man, this is all your fault. The reason that we're out of order, the reason that we're misusing and devaluing ourselves and doing all of this debauchery, this is your fault. This is all on you because the rating goes, men, women, children. So if your men are out of order, that that's a deflection. That's just the easiest scapegoat. That's just the easiest way to get away from responsibility, from acknowledging the fact that you're making bad decisions as a woman, because you're not going to sit up there and tell me that a two-parent household where both parents are married, never divorced, and the girl goes out there to do OnlyFans, you're not going to tell me that that's that father's fault. 
You're not going to tell me that because you're going to look a thousand percent stupid. You're not going to tell me that. And there's a lot of girls out here who decide to go into these industries, either being an exotic dancer, being in the um, adult entertainment industry, right? Deciding to go into OnlyFans, or maybe they want to work on the streets. You have a lot of women out there who actually have fathers who are in their lives, and they decide that this is something that they still want to do. Why do they want to do it? Because monkey see, monkey do. However it is that other women are getting attention, they're going to gauge themselves to that attention. They'll be like, well, I'm moderately attractive. I got this. I got that. I think I have this over that girl. Matter of fact, let me do the exact same thing to give her some competition to cut directly in this business so I can get that money and I can also get that attention as well. Because everything else that I've been doing as a woman ain't been netting me or getting me that attention. So it's time to switch up and do something different. But it ain't doing nothing different because you're doing the exact same thing other women are sitting up there doing. But then you want to turn around and women like that want to turn around and they want to end up saying that, oh, men are this, men are that. No, it's you. You're running into a certain type of men because of the certain types of jobs that you are working. So because you're working those certain types of jobs, you're going to have those certain types of men there. You're not going to find the guys that you realistically want to date, want to marry, want to have children with, one as a fiance, one as a husband, one as a lifelong partner. That's just not how that works. And no man worth his salt is going to literally sit here and have women deciding that, oh, anything negative that a woman does, it's always a man's fault. So if everything negative is a man's fault, what about the positive stuff, right? Because you're stating that we make women who they are. Women can't think for themselves. They can't act for themselves. They're doing everything just strictly for men. So what about all of the women that are doing positive things out here? Corporations, jobs, entrepreneurs, millionaires, billionaires, startups, kickstarters, building up the community, building up businesses, buying up the block, buying homes for their family, buying up land, investing, getting their education. Are, are, are we going to say that men are taking part of that, that they're going to get the credit for that too? Or are we just going to simply say that that's on that woman that did it and men had nothing to do with it? Like I said, a lot of the logic that is being used that's directly out here, it doesn't really make sense once you sit there and you read back and you look at specifically what it is that people are stating. If you just want to say that, hey, I don't feel that women should be blamed for anything and that we should just blame men for everything, just make a statement saying that. It'd be a lot easier to 100% see and understand what it is versus trying to chameleon your way directly through uh, comments and different things of that nature. Like I said, I love it when people are actually straightforward. If you want to sit up there and blame me as a man for whatever you're doing, go, go right ahead. It ain't going to affect me. It ain't going to affect my bills. It's not going to affect nothing I'm doing because you're not actually a part of my life. You're not actually here. You're not actually present. You're not a part of any of the circles that I'm directly a part of or in. So all you're saying is just be yes, because you can't face the reality that you have made mistakes in your life that you don't want to take ownership for. And because you don't want to take ownership for those mistakes, it's a lot easier to just place the blame on somebody else versus looking in the mirror and trying to actually better yourself and evolve and evolve yourself from the present you, the past you up into a better future version of you. Like I said, people are comfortable with living in the past and living in the current times of their negative behaviors. The hardest thing to ever do is to evolve yourself, is to critique yourself, is to sit there and look in the mirror, break all of that crap down and look at yourself naked and then move forward, building armor back up, building yourself back up, building those clothes back up so that you can see who it is that you really are on the inside. A lot of people are afraid of their true selves. So this is exactly why you have a lot of women out here who decide they want to blame men for everything versus taking accountability for the actions that they decided specifically to commit to.